Kevin Samuels just did a video called Mediocre at Best about a day ago, and he admits in the video that he has faked orgasms with women. This was during a um, this was during a statement where he admitted that he has found um, some women's, I guess, box or vagina, whatever you want to say, to be trash. He used the word trash, and that sometimes he he fakes an orgasm in his words just to get up out of there and i just want to i just want to ask um and i'm going to leave the um i'm sorry i'm going to leave the the timestamp in the description box at the bottom but i just want to ask what else do you guys need what else do you need what else do you need to be told or to see about this man to make you accept that this is not a man who you should be listening to about what is attractive about women to a straight man. And I'm talking to women. Men, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I really don't care. Um, you guys are going to either peep what is really going on or you're not. Either way, your status is going to be your status. Because if you're a low-quality man, you're a low-quality man. High-quality man, you're a high-quality man. Anything in between. Listening to Kevin is not going to change that. So I really don't care what you guys do. I'm talking to women. What else do you need? First of all, we already know as women, when men start going on about women's box being trash and this and that, that's already a red flag. That this is probably not a man who's into women. Men generally, first of all, men with dignity and good behavior and civility don't talk like that, period. But for some reason in the black community, it's okay to talk like this. But men with class don't actually do that. Second of all, what more do you need? This man said on a public, public platform that he fakes orgasms with women. This is a man that you want to listen to about what straight men find attractive about women. Really. This is a man who does not get spotted with women and makes excuses about why. Why are you listening to this man? Why? What do you get from it? What do you get from calling in? What do you get from dealing with a man who is clearly does not take much interest in, um, in women? Go watch the video where he brought an Asian girl, mind you, an Asian girl, not a black girl, even though he's so pro-black, he brought an Asian woman on who was for the streets as an example of a, of, of a desirable woman who, unmarried, mind you, who he's, he's always talking about marriage and high-value women, but he brings on an Asian street chick who was not marriageable. Anyway, um, once again, BS, he's not, he's not, Pro, pro black woman at all um the other part of it is go watch the video I'll, um, I'll leave i'll leave a link for it in the description as well look at his body language with her just just go look at his body language and you tell me what you're seeing when you go look at his body language with an attractive and, and she is physically attractive with a physically attractive woman you tell me if that's a man who is accustomed to seducing, dating, and having sex with women. I want you to go look at his body language and how he interacts with her. Then I want you to go to the video from yesterday, from the other day, where he says he fakes orgasms with women just to get up out of there. What more do you need? God damn, what more do you need? Come on. This is a man you're listening to about straight men. Ladies, get it together. 